Okay, I think we can get started. Um, today we will talk about the VNet for three D medical resonance imaging segmentation. Uh, here is the overview of this paper. Um, for the innovations, I think uh, there are three key points. The first thing is uh, um, this paper generalized the generalized the two D convolution to three D convolution and uh, apply this 3D convolution for this 3D image segmentation directly. And it also achieves the uh, state-of-the-art performance uh, with a die score of 0.869. Um, I think another innovation is uh, it uses a die score noise to handle the segmentation challenge of a really small background. The limitation of this paper is that its performance is not really high. Uh, just as we just mentioned, it's just a 0.869. And the intuition uh, of the approach in this paper uh, is basically the generalization from 2D convolution to 3D convolution. And this paper is uh, published in uh, International Conference on 3D Vision. First, here is the system architecture of this approach. Um, so we have a 3D volume image. For example, this image is uh, um, of size 128 by 128 by 64. 64 is the, the deeps, and it has only one channel. Um, so this uh, cross cross time cross symbol means the um, convolution 3D convolution, and the convolution kernel is. Uh, uh, of size five by five by five with strat one, and the, we use uh, sixteen such three uh, D convolution kernels to do the convolution, and then we have a, a residual connection here, and then we do this uh, um, down sampling convolution, and we get the uh, um, the size reduced by two, get this, and similarly for, um, so we totally have a, uh, um. Five, like five such um, resolutions. Basically, the first resolution, second resolution, and the third one, first one. Sometimes we usually call this part as a um, image analysis analysis pass, and this part as the synthesis pass. As you can see, so there there is also like a skip connection from a very early layer um, feature map to the very later layer feature map concatenation and here is the, the bottleneck layer we get this um, uh, convolution so difference between this um, image analysis pass and the image synthesis pass is uh the key key point is uh, um the down the convolution and the deconvolution operation so finally at the end of this uh, uh v convolution neural network we get this um, uh, two channel feature map and each channel, um, it's you can think of, of think of it as a, a two three D um, feature map, and each feature map, uh, for 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 both for these two feature maps, we will apply this uh, softmax um, to this, and this softmax will be used to ca calculate the probability for uh, foreground and background, and the the, the two voxels. Considered up from the same location, but from different feature maps. For example, this feature map can be the um, can be for the foreground, and this can be for the background. So after softmax, we get we still get two um three D um feature map, but this one is a probabilistic feature map, and each uh element, each box element, is the probability for this box of being the foreground. Uh, and uh, for them, this one will be the probability for this box to be in the background. About the performance, um, as we just mentioned, um, the average death score of this approach uh, on this promised data set 2012, uh, it's about, about uh, 0.87. That score, and the qualitative uh, qualitative result uh, is uh, shown here. So here the authors uh, compare the 
the result from from the model with two different uh, uh, training loss function. So one is the the death score loss, and another one is the soft max uh, cross entropy loss. So you can, you can see that there is a um, difference between these uh, two segmentation results. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Thank you.